Uh, previously in the video, we looked at the weather map for New York, and we um, looked at how things uh, distribute over time. Today we're going to look how they uh, distribute over space, specifically over the state of New York. So, as usual, we start by loading some libraries and information. And I'm skipping most of it, but here is uh, how we load the um, station information. And here we're loading the reconstruction information. And then um, we just want to concentrate on coefficient 1, which, if you remember, uh, is the one that basically tells you how much snow overall there is um, in this station. And so we are interested only in stations and not in, uh, and not in particular uh, years. So we're going to take the average over the years. OK, so uh, this is the uh, uh, little uh, pandas data frame that we're generating. And for each um, station, we uh, give the number of years for which we have um, this uh, measurement of the snow depth and uh, the average of the first coefficient over the years. Okay. So now we can take that information and create a, a note, uh, sorry, a map. And um, uh, we're going to, this is the map. And uh, as you see, the square surrounds the state of New York. And um, what we would uh, like to do is um, put the information on top of it. So we have each station represented by a circle. Let me zoom in. Okay, so each station is represented by a circle, and um, the size of the circle or the area of the circle corresponds to the number of measurements we have from that station. So there are some stations that have very few measurements and some stations that have a lot of measurements. And um, the color corresponds to um, whether or not uh, to the coefficient, to basically the, the value of the coefficient. And there is a scale, uh, color bar here to tell us that the smallest this coefficient can be is minus 37. The largest it can be is 4,976. And uh, 0 is very close to the beginning. So 0 is the mean. And uh, what we see is that most places have, um, have snowfall around this, which is very little snowfall. Okay, but then there are some stations that uh, have higher snowfall. So if we see, look here, uh, we see that, for instance, this station right here um, has, has, has pretty high snowfall. Okay? And so the question is, what can we see uh, by browsing um, on, this, on this map? Um, and what we can basically see is that if you look at the whole state of New York, it's, everything is pretty low other than here. And, uh, but, all, but, but around here, there is a lot of pretty high uh, values. So the question is, what, what is this area? And we can zoom in. And the nice thing about Leaflet is that it will give you more information about the area the more you zoom in. OK, so here we have. And basically, what we see is, yes, the high level of snow is, um, is in the Adirondacks. OK, so the Adirondacks are an area in New York, um, where there is a lot of snow, people go skiing there, and so on. OK, so this is just a way to show you how you can basically represent information that you find on top of the map. And uh, it's a nice way of doing it, because you get as much detail as you want, but you don't have to download a huge file of, uh, of geographical information. So one question that we might have at this point is, OK, so the Adirondacks have a lot of snow. So maybe snow really relates to the elevation of a station. So that is something easy to uh, check. Um, here we have a scatter plot, which shows you the coefficients, um, the coefficient uh, value, OK? So from about 0, where most things are, to high values. And then the elevation. And we see that there is a little bit of a trend. So places that have very high um, snowfall accumulation um, uh, tend to be 
a little bit uh, higher than others, so maybe more than 400 uh, meters above sea level, but that is really not a very strong effect, right? So here we see places that are even higher and they don't have necessarily very high snow level. They have some snow, but most of the places, regardless of their elevation, have very little snow. So that's something that we can learn from this scatter plot. So to summarize, uh, this notebook, I showed you how you can use IPY leaflet to uh, present data on top of maps. And that's a very powerful thing when you have information that relates to a map. And um, we see that in New York State, most of the snow accumulation is in the Adirondacks, which is not surprising to anybody who lives in New York. And uh, snow accumulation increases with elevation, but the relationship is weak. So um, we can't really say that it's a very strong relationship. Okay, so um, um, I'll see you next time, and we'll look at other aspects of uh, the snow in New York. See you then.